All right, everybody, we back with a quick haul. Welcome back to the Grilling Oasis. Hope y'all having a good day. I got a Trader Joe's haul for you all today. Ran to the store. Got a few items. All right, let's get started. So I had to get some more vegetables. So I got this. It was in the freezer section, the mashed cauliflower. I've gotten this before. Tastes good. All you gotta do, pop it in the microwave. There's the ingredients. Nutrition packs for you. And then you can put it on the stove top, but we just put it in the microwave. Then we just add some butter and some salt, and it's a good side dish. Got some more Brussels sprouts. These are in the freezer section too. They're fresh frozen. Nothing but Brussels sprouts, that's it. We always keep a couple of frozen veggies in the deep freezer just to be able to have for different dinners. Also got some broccoli florets. Just plain broccoli, that's it. Got some corn. That corn is really good. It's sweet. Tastes really good. OT is going to do something on the grill for y'all with this corn. So look, up, look out for that video coming soon. And then I saw this. Last time I was in there, I saw it. But I just didn't get it. But this time I went ahead and got it. I like tabbouleh, like the regular kind. But this is cauliflower tabbouleh. So we're going to see how it tastes. Don't have as many carbs in it as the regular tabbouleh, which I love the regular one. So we'll see how this post up to the other one, the original. Then I got some butter, just their organic unsalted butter, four quarters. That just means four sticks. Just pasteurized organic sweet cream milk lactic acid got two of those then I got the bacon we always keep bacon in the freezer too for weekend breakfast we usually try to have a big breakfast on Sundays it's the uncured dry rub sliced bacon no nitrates or nitrites added really really good bacon not too too fatty Also got this to try as well. Eggplant garlic spread with sweet red peppers. I'm a weird girl. I like weird veggies. Other veggies that people don't like. So I love eggplant. There are the ingredients. Nutrition facts for you. So we're going to try that. I'll let y'all know how it tastes. If y'all like eggplant, let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to try that dip with these, which I had seen on other people's channel. They were talking about low-carb and keto items, cauliflower thins. It's like a bread substitute, but with obviously a no bread and a lot less carbs. There are the nutrition facts, macros for you, and the ingredients. Some of that cauliflower stuff. Had, still has some kind of wheat or some kind of bread in it, but these don't. So it's really vegetables. It has some cheese, some eggs in there. So I'm going to put those like in a toaster, toast them up, and try and like use them for pita bread for this um, cauliflower tabbouleh and the eggplant spread. Also got some avocados. Just got... Four of those avocados. Got a tomato. Got a hothouse cucumber. And then I got some more pizza dough. Usually I make some pizza dough. If you want to see how I make it, just let me know. But I bought some today because I was being lazy. And my son wants some pizza, so... 
<laughs> we're gonna make this real quick with the dough already pre-made i got two of those put one in the freezer and then i'll make a pizza for them and then i got some more eggs i like these eggs they're brown eggs but they're additive and hormone free the size they're large Got two cards of those. If you happen to like white eggs in particular and you want them cheap, check out Dollar Tree. They have medium ones. They're a dollar for a carton. And then at Dollar General, they have them for $1.50, but they're large. At Dollar General, both of them are good. I like either one of them. If I can't get to Trader Joe's and get these, then I'll get them from Dollar Tree or Dollar General right up the road. Then we got some meat. OT gonna throw these on the grill. Ribeye steak. You know steak is pretty high. This is $14.99 per pound. But it's really good meat. It does turn out really well on the grill. And that's what I like, I like ribeyes. And then the boys like filet mignon. The expensive stuff, y'all. But it's actually a pretty decent price at Trader Joe's. You get two of them for $10. So that really ain't bad for a filet. Now let's come across here for our shelf stable stuff. Got some fried onions. It was just a large container and it was sealed already, so I like that. I could put it on the shelf, have it for later. Making green bean casserole and things like that. I also mm. saw some new sauces there. And I'm gonna insert some other pictures of different things I saw. But this was one that I decided to go ahead and pick up. Honey Aleppo sauce. I hope I'm saying that right. The lady that checked me out, she said it was um, from Syria or something like that. Mm. Don't check me if I'm wrong. <laughs> look it up but here are the ingredients she said it was really good like if you're doing like a, a rice bowl like anything with rice and chicken as a sauce for that so I'm gonna try it see how it tastes and then I also saw this I'm gonna make an Asian dish like a stir fry with the noodles and everything so I'm being lazy again instead of making my own sauce we're going to try this out. Cook some chicken thighs, some rice noodles, put that sauce with it, some vegetables. I hadn't seen this before there, so I said I would try it out. Here are the ingredients and the nutrition facts. And I also saw a different seasoning there. Everything but the elote seasoning blend, I think I'm saying that correctly. But OT is going to use that on that corn I was talking about earlier for a recipe. So he'll show you how he hooks that corn up with this. Here are the ingredients. I think it's going to taste good though. We'll see. And then I got some more of the fire roasted red peppers. I like these because they're shelf stable. And I put them in chili. Put them in uh, spaghetti sauces. Things like that. Real easy and adds extra depth of flavor to your dishes. Then I got some more coconut aminos. I just ran out. This is like a a substitute for soy sauce because soy doesn't really agree with me a lot of it. So I try and stay away from it for the most part. But this has that same flavor with the saltiness, a little bit of sweetness, and it's made out of coconuts instead of soybeans so it's just organic coconut sap water and sea salt so i use that for my asian dishes instead of soy sauce for me it's really good then i also got another one of these condensed cream of portobello mushroom soup so i use that with my green bean casserole Or if I'm making some kind of chicken casserole, I add this in there. 
And here are the ingredients and nutrition facts. Tastes good, I always get it there. Sometimes they're out, because I think it might be like a seasonal item, maybe like around holiday time, because I don't see it all the time, but so when I see it, I get it and have it in stock in my pantry. And then I got another one of these, the Organic Sweetened Condensed Milk. Just organic milk, organic crane sugar. You know this thing got a lot of sugar in it, <laughs> two tablespoons. 21 grams of sugar. But I make a homemade ice cream with this. And it's really good. So I was out, so I had to get one more of those. And then I got another ketchup. I always keep this in stock. I just opened the other one, so I want to get one more to put back. Make sure I had it for later. Really clean ingredients, and it tastes good. Got some more maple syrup. I usually get my maple syrup from Trader Joe's. I usually don't get the dark one. I try the dark one and it tastes really like uh, molasses-like, which I don't particularly like. So I just got the regular, but they do have a dark. They have an organic one. They have a lot of choices. And this is just maple syrup. There's the nutrition facts for you. I got another all-purpose flour. I like using this one. There's nothing extra in it. I keep that on hand. I just ran out, so I got me another bag. And I keep my flour in the refrigerator, y'all. Let me know if other people do that. Someone came to my house and they were like, that's weird. Why you got the flour in the refrigerator? I was like, mm. <laughs> I think it lasts longer or something. But let me know in the comment section if y'all do that. Oh, y'all know somebody that does that too. It's not just me. Then I got some more coconut milk. Kiddos drink this a lot. We have a lactose intolerance in the house, so we use it trying to stay away from most major milk products. So we use the coconut. And this is the vanilla, so this does have some sugar. Nine grams of carbs, seven grams of sugar. For a cup still not bad though so we use that for the smoothies for the kids excuse me i knocked this over thank goodness it didn't break and then i just got the unsweetened i like sipping on it sometime and i put that in my smoothies so this one only has one gram of carb so less than one gram of sugar for a cup and i got three of the unsweetened ones and just one of the vanilla so that's it, y'all. That's our Trader Joe's haul. Hope y'all having a great day, and I'll see you next time on the Oasis. All right. Bye-bye.